Good afternoon. As it is, we thought of only an informal press today. But I think because of the electronic media, we'll uh, start with a few issues which can formally be taken as a bite. I start off with the C and A G report in Maharashtra, which is yet to be tabled and based on the media reports, since it relates to an issue which is similar to what on which yesterday Supreme Court had commented. We thought it fit to pick it up. It refers to land allocations made to select NGOs by Sri Vilas, Vilas Rao Deshmukh. Select NGOs who are related to some ministers in Maharashtra whose names I'm not taking because all of us are basing our comments on media reports. The CAG report, as was commented upon by the Prime Minister, uh, Chief Minister Maharashtra, which I've just seen, will have to be tabled in the House there in the Assembly, post which I'm sure the PAC there and post which the opposition there also will be following it up. The BJP has already taken it up in the House yesterday. But the one point which emerges from this is after a very sharp rebuke and a rebuttal, not a rebuttal, an observation by the Supreme Court yesterday on the way in which he had allotted land for a media baron, which has been struck down by the High Court earlier and subsequently by the Supreme Court too. Sri Vilas Rao Deshmukh has no moral authority to be in the cabinet. He should step down. And today, the CAG's report, also in similar lines on similar counts for almost comparable offenses, has held him responsible. And I think he has to clear his name on this NGO allotment and on the Supreme Court's allot um, observation, he has been indicted. So there is no way you can justify his continuance in the cabinet. He should immediately step down. The BJP demands that, that if he doesn't step down, the Prime Minister remove him from the cabinet. Aaj Maharashtra mein ek CAG ka report, jo abhi tak assembly mein table nahi hua, magar B media se aaye huye report ke anusar, लैंड अलॉटमेंट के विषय में विलासराव देशमुख जी के खिलाफ बहुत सारे बातें आए हैं सिर्फ उनका नाम नहीं है दस और सीनियर पॉलिटिशियंस कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स का नाम भी वो सीएजी रिपोर्ट में जिक्र किया है जो अभी तक असेंबली में टेबल नहीं हुए मगर मीडिया के द्वारा बहुत सारे ऐसे खबर फैल रही है कल सुप्रीम कोर्ट में लैंड अलॉटमेंट के विषय में ही विलासराव देशमुख के खिलाफ बहुत सारे ऐसे बातें सुप्रीम कोर्ट से आया है जिससे उनके नैतिक अधिकार नहीं बचा जिससे वो कैबिनेट में रह सके इसीलिए तुरंत वो कैबिनेट से हटना चाहिए अगर वो नहीं हटते प्राइम मिनिस्टर उनको हटाना चाहिए ये हमारी डिमांड है और सी के जो रिपोर्ट है वो जरूर चीफ मिनिस्टर महाराष्ट्र ने अभी कुछ बयान इस आ, मतलब दिया है कि असेंबली में सीएजी के रिपोर्ट दाखिल करेंगे उसके बाद ऑपोजिशन और पीएसी उधर का उसके रिपोर्ट को पढ़ेंगे कुछ एक्शन के बारे में बात करेंगे फिर भी जो रिपोर्ट मीडिया से आ रही है उस सीएजी के रिपोर्ट के फाइंडिंग्स के मुताबिक उसमें भी इसी ऐसे विषय के लैंड अलॉटमेंट के विषय के ऊपर ही विलासराव देशमुख के खिलाफ बहुत सारे ऐसे बात आए ही है इसीलिए हम मांगते हैं वो कैबिनेट से हटाएं और सीएजी के जो रिपोर्ट है उसमें उनके नाम साफ करें मतलब लेट हम क्लियर इज नेम एंड देन सी व्हाट ई वॉन्ट डू बट एस इट इज कल के सुप्रीम कोर्ट के वर्डिक के बाद वो कैबिनेट में रहना अच्छा नहीं है तुरंत प्राइम मिनिस्टर उनको हटना चाहिए हटाना चाहिए दैट इज वन ऑफ द मैटर्स सेकेंड इज 
Yesterday you had Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad, our chief spokesperson, talk on the Indian Express report. He has made our position on it very clear. And it is only to reiterate what he had said yesterday. I repeat, there cannot be any room for speculation on the armed forces in this country. We are very proud about our armed forces, about our armed forces chiefs. There cannot be any occasion on which we cast aspersions on their loyalty. Armed forces in India have made us only proud. We cannot speculate on their loyalty and therefore there cannot be any report or any such discussions casting aspersions on their loyalty. That is one issue and on that there cannot be a second thought. However, in this context, not so much on the Indian Express context, but on the context of matters which have been discussed regarding the armed forces about the chief in the last few months, the Bharatiya Janata Party wishes to state that in this context it is necessary to take immediate steps in order that, as was said by Sri Arun Jaitley in the Raj Sabha speech, greater transparency has to be brought in in the procurement processes and make them above board. We cannot afford to have systems in the armed forces procurement which are leading to suspicion about any kind of middlemen operating. We cannot afford that. The government should take immediate steps to make that process open and transparent and above board. The government also should make sure that in order that the trust deficit which has come down so badly, the deficit which is now so high is immediately addressed and greater confidence is brought into the armed forces that the civilian authority respects them, honors them. And statesmen like leadership should prevail in the current dispensation, the government, to treat the armed forces with such measures as to bring back confidence. So that is necessary and it has to be done immediately. And above all, the third issue in this larger context that the BJP would like to raise is there cannot be any compromise or delay or even sitting over matters which concern preparedness of the army. For fear of taking decision, the policy paralysis which is now to come to prevail in the UPA government, there cannot be any kind of implication on the armed forces' preparedness and therefore on that measure too, proactive steps have to be taken to ensure that the army is prepared in every aspect, Mor morale should be held high and even on resources they should be adequately endowed. And therefore, the BJP demands that we do not lose out on getting the house fine and cleaned, measures that has to be made in order to make the whole procurement policy transparent and above board will also have to be taken. These two debates cannot be mixed up. The two issues cannot be brought together and confusion should not prevail on this matter. Therefore, we expect that the government will rise to the occasion, conduct themselves as due like statesmanship, show due statesmanship, and ensure that the armed forces' morale is kept high, transparency prevails in procurement, and adequate measures are taken to keep the preparedness at its best. I also would want to uh, talk about one other issue. We welcome that the High Court of Jharkhand has directed the Election Commission to probe into the issue of countermanding the Raj Sabha election, which of course is going to look into all kinds of aspects, but I think it is a good step. We welcome the step of the High Court. Most important, huh. Jharkhand ki High Court ne 
आज इलेक्शन कमीशन को ऐसे आदेश दिया है जिससे इलेक्शन को रद्द करना काउंटरमैंड करना उस विषय के ऊपर एक प्रोब कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव जांच करने के लिए उसको हम वेलकम करते हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी की ओर से लास्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू most important because it highlights how bjp when it comes to power in states immediately works on the positive agenda the goa government led by the chief minister manohar parikkar has taken steps to clean the mining industry's activities and therefore there are about 90 mining leases in goa the government has taken immediate steps of course it, the, there was a change in the official who was heading the mining department now there is a different official who's come in they would be visiting every mine that has obtained lease, uh, license and those mines which are yet to obtain license also will be visited by the government to have a comprehensive looking into the processes that they've undergone and mines which are totally illegal also will be visited by the government official and officials are therefore now going to tag them with a green signal with which the, those with green signal can continue mining continue exporting they will be given the rights without any hesitation and those put in the brown box or the tag brown tag given uh, mines are those which are awaiting license and on that there will be a complete inquiry as to what has delayed the license has there been any environment questioning on them and so on they will not be allowed to perm, um, export their products or the my uh, or till such a time their license related issues are cleared and finally they will also be a red tagged mining um uh, uh people who have obtained not yet obtained or illegally staying there those with red tags will not be permitted to export mines so the government has taken concrete steps so that it is obvious transparent and above board they are also going to ban i heard they banned the dumping of mines those are mine mining uh, which has been extraction which has been done over and above the permitted limit or in old mines which have become uh, now no longer active and products from there will not be allowed to say, um, be exported they are the dumping mines the, the the dumped material which gets sold off although they are illegal even that has been banned and above all both the royalty payments and license payments will be now and the nocs which are being given on them will all be online so anyone can see it anyone can question it and anyone will be able to ask the government pertinent questions on the matter and therefore we are um, quite happy that the newly elected bharatiya janata party government in goa is taking concrete transparent and very important steps to clean up the mining uh, you know mess one last issue is of the arrest in rajasthan of a bjp mla rajender rathor we find and much to our shock that once again the congress party has succeeded in using the cba as a tool not just mr rathor but there are six officers who were arrested ironically all belonging to one caste and very many others are also being targeted we all know in this case the crime took place in 2006 charge sheet was filed and the first fir or the charge sheet did not have the name of shri rajender rathor subsequently after cbi took over his name gets added and he is arrested cbi is definitely being used as a political tool we know it we saw it in gujarat we saw it in up subsequently ap andhra pradesh and now in rajasthan in spite of repeated warnings the upa government particularly congress does not hesitate to misuse the cbi more to target political opponents rather than for the purpose for which the cbi has been established in rajasthan it's a complete letdown because even the police is demoralized there 
it's in a way trying to pit policemen against policemen and as a result the former chief minister of Rajasthan Shri Mati Vasundara Raja Sindhya had also commented on it saying the Congress party particularly the chief minister by all the steps that he's taking is only dividing Rajasthan further and further rather than running it like one large family. The state is being ruled by one principle and that is a real sad, uh, sad state because they are dividing and ruling, dividing by caste and trying to rule. Targeted attacks by caste of certain leaders who have been held high in the res respective communities shows that the Gehlot regime believes only in using the CBI to attack caste by caste every section of the society and make them feel bitter with what objective God only knows. As a result Rajasthan which had seen good progress under the BJP government is now a divided society. A society which is fighting against each other and there is no harmony left there. We saw it in the case and each one of these cases are being used as a distraction from the non-governance of Gelot. The failure of the Congress government for which they don't have answers, they want to do a lot of things which are only taking it out as distractions. The Gopalgar incident was one, Bhavari Devi case was another, now Rajendra Rathor case is the third. Every time when they are not able to explain as to their failures, as to why they are not able to govern Rajasthan better, they have one such an incident on which they show the entire media and other things are diverted into this and they just keep continuing running Rajasthan. It's a shame BJP condemns this approach of the Congress party led by uh, um, Gelodji, who is unable to govern Rajasthan in the way in which BJP had governed it, Rajasthan is led to suffer. This kind of divide and rule policy of uh, Sri Gelot is condemnable. Using CBI was UPA in Delhi. Today a state government is also misusing CBI. We condemn this arrest and we will certainly take it at a political level and fight it out to see that the Congress government is thrown out the next time there in Rajasthan. Thank you. Let me remind you that after 26-11, it was the Congress-led UPA which repeatedly said that we will ensure tough action is taken by Pakistan to bring justice, to give justice to those victims who are sitting in Mumbai, to see that those perpetrators of the Mumbai terror attack are brought to court and given justice. Unfortunately, much before even one step was taken by Pakistan, the UPA government was trying to desperately want to restart the talks, comprehensive or not. Later on it became comprehensive. The BJP has been saying from the beginning that talks cannot be for the sake of talks. We need concrete action. Justice has to be given to those people. The victims and their families are awaiting a complete closure that's not happening. And now when uh, Zardari, the elected uh, uh, president of the party, I mean of uh, Pakistan, coming in on a private visit seems to draw a lot of attention. He is welcome as a citizen, as a tourist, but it is important that we ensure that our side is heard and due recognition is given that Pakistan has not taken adequate steps in curtailing one terror which has been sponsored from there to India to not adequate action taken against those perpetrators of violence in India but moving freely in Pakistan. And we saw yesterday how Hafiz Said declared and challenged to America, I am in Pakistan if you want to take me but why is the Pakistan authority failing to capture him and produce him? Uh, one other announcement that I've uh, forgotten to make, I'm sorry about it. Tomorrow is, as you all know, the Stapana Divas for BJP. 
you've already been given the uh, information about a program which will be held in 9 Ashoka Road, marking the foundation of BJP at 11 o'clock tomorrow. There's also one other which I would like to uh, highlight. At 3 o'clock, from 3 o'clock, there will be an archival collection of all the party material, publications, documents, our resolutions, pictures, everything will be on display as an exhibition. Also in uh, number 9, Ashoka Road, we would like you all, and this not just of Bharatiya Janata Party, but also of Jansang. So kindly please make a note. Uh, the exhibition will be open till about 7 p.m. in the evening. Do come and have a look at the documented history of Jansang Bharatiya Janata Party.